Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we will be going through the Bitcoin chart and also the Ethereum USD chart. We're going to be taking a dive into both of these and what opportunities are presented to us this weekend. So I hope that you really enjoy the video and uh, let's start off with Bitcoin and then we will move on to Ethereum next. So my opinion on Bitcoin, if you watched last night's live stream, uh, was that I was expecting a quote-unquote bearish weekend i was expecting a pullback to happen nothing crazy to the upside and that's what we have got over the last 12 hours here we have steadily pulled back uh, from the high of last night down uh, about three and a half percent almost and what this is giving us well it's obviously consolidating it's obviously going a bit sideways and we are consolidating within a triangle pattern so this is what i feel you got right now on the bitcoin chart as you can see literally you are right now bouncing off the bottom of the trend line once again. We've already seen one, two, three bounces off the bottom of this trend line. And obviously, from the top of the triangle, you've got one, two rejections. So we do have a formulated triangle here. Uh, it's like uh, an official triangle. So you have got those three bounces at the bottom. You have got those two bounces at the top. And one could say that this is a triangle that one could trade. Uh, alternatively, a breakdown of the triangle equals a short or a break up of the triangle equals a long position or what one could do to flip it on its head <laughs> is look for longs at the bottom of the triangle and look for shorts up at the top of the triangle this is probably my preferred method of trading but i'll be totally honest with you my viewpoint on bitcoin today is i'm not i don't really think i'm going to be trading it if i'm totally honest with you i feel the opportunities are with the alts and bitcoin is i want to say bitcoin is fairly choppy here it's not really offering very good trades and this is the best pattern that we have going on right now but if i'm totally honest with you the way that i would prefer to approach this is wait for a bigger move to the downside or alternatively a reclaim of the poc so this is this is for me where it requires patience in trading i mean yes one could argue that you have a long position right now but the way that i would approach this is really simply with a bit more patience because you have to think yeah that there's always a trade in bitcoin there's always a trade on ethereum there's always something to do but do you want to take these low quality trades and in my opinion this is a low quality trade maybe it plays out maybe it doesn't and i, I just prefer to wait patiently for what i call a real quality like high quality high probability setup where i have a lot of you know probabilities in my favor and you know we we have to control the market instead of letting the market control our moves we have to say to the market we're not going to trade until you come to our level you come down to our level we're going to trade it alternatively you reclaim a level we're going to trade it but in these sort of positions where we are at now i personally would say i'm not going to let the market to, you know have control of me i'm going to have control of the market and personally here I am going to be either waiting for lower. I'm pretty happy that we've, I'm saying this as we continue to move down because, you know, people might have bought the bottom of that triangle, but I really don't feel that it's like a high probability trade. You know? I'm comfortable here waiting for a lower prices on Bitcoin or alternatively a reclaim of the point of control to offer another trade here, if I'm totally honest. And that point of control is obviously coming in around $48,000. So you're going to either see, have to see a reclaim now of, of that 48,000. You know, like I said yesterday, that 48,500 is, is a really key level. Or alternatively, it does look like we will be coming down to test once again these series of lows where we have like an SR flip here of support, resistance, resistance. And that's obviously coming in at around 45,000. So you could say a, you could say a high probability trade is coming down to around $45,000 alternatively reclaim about $48,500 I mean yes this position of the long could play out now really really well to be fair but what we have to you know it's just a case of uh, you know why is there desire to always be in a trade you know sometimes in my opinion the best trade is no trade and it's just having the patience to wait out a little bit for a better higher probability trade because, you know, we've said it time and time and time again, price is going to go up, down or sideways. That's that's all we can guarantee. So if we want to put our money on the line, you know, our hard earned cash, we want to protect our capital at all costs. Why would we trade a subpar setup when we can wait for a high probability setup and take that really nice trade? You know, it's like I say, all you need is one trade and you can essentially have one trade that pays for a year's salary almost, you know. 
and then you can throw it away by taking really bad sub substandard trades so you know personally i'm comfortable here waiting for lower on bitcoin uh just as i was saying in last night's live stream i'm personally expecting a pullback that's really what we are getting right now so i'm pretty comfortable on bitcoin holding out a little bit here just staying patient for for lower prices um so that's just my thoughts on bitcoin um obviously we do have the triangle it looks like we could potentially break to, to the downside of the triangle but i personally just feel there's going to be really it's going to be really choppy there's going to be fake outs the volume is low and so i'm just i'm going to remain patient so i hope that's given you a helpful perspective on bitcoin of how i am personally going to approach it so i hope that that was helpful on bitcoin and then i want to talk about ethereum because i feel ethereum is actually really 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 technically trading well in terms of the moves that were coming down to the low where we're rejecting from right now ladies and gentlemen the level that we're rejecting from is really 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 technical so let's go over ethereum but before we go over ethereum i just want to remind you that we do have a champions live stream tomorrow in the champions live stream that's where i will be going over my what i feel the highest probability trading plan where i'll be going over starting my chart from scratch working that chart from no technical analysis to doing the technical analysis to formulating a plan and then a setup based off of what I feel is the highest probabilities. So if you're interested in that, that's what I'll be doing in tomorrow's Champions live stream. And just so you can see, this was the setup that I basically formulated last week of the of the, of the options of where the market could go. I formulated this is what was, in my opinion, the highest probability trading setup. Uh, obviously, along there on Bitcoin. So if you're interested in my next setup, that's what I'll be doing in tomorrow's Champions live stream. So moving on to Ethereum then. So Ethereum USD, um, really, really, really interesting what happened here, yeah? Um, I refer you, you have to refer back to this live stream uh, from the 11th of February, where I gave you this pitchfork, literally gave you the pitchfork and where I was expecting price to go down to and there where I was expecting price to go up to. Look at this prediction, ladies and gentlemen. Please go back and watch the video if you haven't already. Yeah, so around minute uh one hour one hour through the video yeah well, uh, what about one hour video one hour through the video we was giving this pitchfork and this prediction and look, look how this traded out it was really 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 nice okay so here we see the low of our pitchfork we had the high of the pitchfork we had the low of the pitchfork and from we were expecting a move to touch the bottom of the pitchfork back up into the midline and really look how that prediction played out we came right to the bottom of the pitchfork and then look where we got the bounce to right up to the midpoint of that pitchfork at the high there being 1,877. And I was giving the prediction of 1,880 where I was expecting Ethereum to top out there. So I do feel that Ethereum USD pad gave a really nice short position last night um, off of the midpoint of that pitchfork. You know, it's a simple case of having a plan of where to look for to buy at the lows and then having that plan of where to sell at the highs and it's like in a combination if you're expect well i wasn't if you're expecting bitcoin to pull back you know and get a retracement then ethereum usd is very likely to also pull back so this is where you gotta think you know that's generally gonna offer a really nice short position but again this is obviously going to be to take profit because you're back down at the low of the uh, pitchfork as we can see here we have really been going from the high to the low to the midpoint to the low to the low midpoint 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 all-time high then you obviously get your you know strong pullback here back down to the really around the, the the low of the pitchfork here again it's kind of like bitcoin they're both trying to break down through supports but it's a bit too you know it's a kind of like i'd say you're a bit too late on the bitcoin short and also ethereum here i'd, I'd argue this i don't know i i personally like if i'm going to trade a short position i don't like to really trade breakouts so i don't like to trade breakouts of longs and i don't like to trade breakouts of shorts like your best shorts are up at the highs and your best longs are down at the lows so you don't want to get into the position of like longing up at the highs and shorting down at the lows it's just something that i don't like to do i would prefer to look for shorts when price is moving up and longs when price is moving down and really that's what was offered to you if you followed along in that live stream a few days ago we were literally going over the lows and and where the high would be put in on ethereum usd and then two days later it traded exactly as predicted we moved down to the low of the pitchfork back up to the highs and now we can say we're starting to lose the low of this pitchfork and if that is the case then it's pretty likely that we're going to come back down once again to re revisit around uh 1740 dollars so that's uh, about 40 more dollars at least to the downside here i'd say at least um 
And again, but this the, the Ethereum USD pair is, is highly influenced by Bitcoin. So with Bitcoin moving down here, okay, so Bitcoin is clearly moving down. You know, obviously Ethereum USD is also going to move down. And this is where you've got to be careful on the alts. Like, like, like if you FOMO into some of those alts yesterday, you're going to be pretty wrecked because you can see, you know, some altcoins down nearly 17% today. Um, you know, the altcoins are... Yeah, they, they pump, but then they, they get destroyed and wrecked just as easily. Uh, Ethereum is obviously a higher market cap. It doesn't move so extremely, but that's what I got for you on the Ethereum USD pair. I got this really nice pitchfork that I did give you to you a few days ago as an update of that pitchfork of, <clears throat> you know, literally how good was that pitchfork? We clear resistance up at, a mid, up at the midpoint. You have now lost support of that pitchfork which for me is pretty um you're generally going to be looking down to back down towards these lows i'd say which is one seven one thousand seven hundred and forty dollars and then you're going to have to base the reaction do you get a nice bounce off of there well then that's obviously going to offer a nice long position but if there's no sign of a bounce then again i would just say if you if you're not already in a short i'd personally say it's a bit too late <laughs> to short at these lows like i just would say it's a bit too late to short and um you know, you're going to have to wait out for the next opportunity of a trade. And the same on Bitcoin. Well, thank, thank, thank heavens I was not saying that this was going to be a good trade because, as you can see, you have essentially got a little bit of a bounce. It was a fake out and, and you've continued downwards here. And this is why I really do think you've got to have that patience because, you know, look at this. Some of these old coins down nearly 20% today and Bitcoin also pulling back. I don't really feel it's a massive surprise there, but there you go. Um, I must stress, there's no financial advice in this video. I'm never going to tell you what to do with your money. Do your own research. But this is basically the way that I'm trying to formulate my plan at the moment. I know where there's a high probability trade. I know where I want to get into a long position. And uh, right now, it's just not the case. Okay, so it's the same on, on, on Ethereum. You know, if you miss the short up here off the midpoint, then it's also like, you've got to have a bit of patience. I personally wouldn't long here. Um... I definitely wouldn't short here. The short is way too late. But, um, you know, it's just sometimes in the market, you just got, you really have to control yourself. You've got to have to control yourself. You've got to remember, at the very least, if you did long offer that, you know, prediction, you, at the very least, you've got to be taking profits up here because this is a high, high target. You know, obviously, it's a really nice short position when you look at it in comparison with Bitcoin. But if you don't like to short in a bull market, fair enough, not everybody does. But at the very least, that's obviously a big take profit. Okay, that really is a, a big take profit off the midpoint there. Um, and then you've got to have patience for the next trade. So I hope that I hope that this video has offered you a bit of perspective in how one can start to approach their trades, in why one has to remain patient. I feel so a summary of the video. Summary of the video on, on Bitcoin personally, I am happy to wait for lower or a reclaim of resistance to get into a long position. On Ethereum, I believe that this was a nice short position. But I obviously it's way too late to short now. So on Ethereum now, the way that I'll manage to short is either wait for wait for about you know forty ish dollars lower to potentially go into a nice long position, or just just wait again for a reclaim back into this back into the pitchfork. It's obviously for me going to signal time to close the short, and I'll, I'll wait out the weekend, wait for another trade on Ethereum. So that's really the way that I'm going to approach this. A lot of patience. Um, not so interested in a long unless we get lower. On the bitcoin and ethereum chart or alternatively a reclaim of resistance as support that would be the two ways that would trigger for me a long setup on both of those assets and until that happens i want to control what i'm doing i'm not going to let the market dictate what happens okay and that, that, that's my summary um so again if you're interested in the champions live stream tomorrow i will be going through my bitcoin trading plan uh, where I will start my technical analysis from scratch and work out a setup based off of what I feel is the most highest probability trade. So I hope that you uh, have enjoyed today's video, giving you some perspective, hopefully help you controlling the FOMO that may many people might be feeling. And uh, yeah, overall, thank you ever so much and have a brilliant weekend. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.